Next we have Thresh and Joanna. Again, pretty evenly matched. Both of them are quite fierce characters without any kind of background in fighting. I think I'll go with Thresh on this one actually. I think because Jana Joanna was quite small he would be able to pick her up quite easily like Clove and just kind of kill her. <laughs> I'm running out of ways to describe it. You guys get the point. He would get a a rock. He would get a rock and bash her head in. <laughs> Shit. Don't copy the kills. Thrush could do anything. If he gets his strength behind it, he can give you, kill you with a bloody twig. So, yeah, I'll go with Thrush. Okay, this video is going to be so long. Cashmere and Gloss, so brother and sister from District 1. I'll go with Gloss because he would be um, a bit stronger than her. But they were probably training together, so they would know each other's moves. So... I think it would come down to who I've got the most blows in and yeah. Next is Glimmer and Gloss so I'll go with Gloss because I st we, every time I say this we don't know Glimmer's speciality but again we don't really know Gloss's but he would probably overpower her with strength so did you guys see who they cast as Gloss? Yeah, that is one tasty dish. Next is Marvel and Cashmere. I kind of feel like Cashmere would get Marvel. I kind of feel like all the girls from one are like really, really pretty and they would just like flirt their way into confusing you and then kind of slitting your throat. Marvel and Gloss, so I think it would be pretty evenly matched. So from far away, Marvel could get with the spear from close up. Gloss could probably snap your neck, kind of Kato like. Um, again, I think it would kind of come down to who got the most blows in to kind of decide who won. Yeah. Sorry, a lot of those are like that, but like there's really not enough information in the books on how specific people fight so I can only really imagine Katniss and Anabaria I want to say Katniss um, but I feel like Anabaria would kind of fend off any arrows that came her way and then kind of pull a traditional rip your throat out with my teeth so I'll go with Anabaria Next one makes me want to cry. Why do you guys do this? <laughs> Mags and Rue. That's so mean. So again, um, Rue has the vantage point being up in the um, trees. But Mags can pretty much craft anything into a fish hook. Um, so if it's like hand-to-hand -hand combat, Mags would have it. Then again, I feel like, I'm guessing we're talking about, like, the young version of Rue, obviously, and the old version of Mags. If it's the old version of Mags, she would probably let Rue win, um, because that's just sort of the person she is. Like, she volunteered for Annie, and then she died, um, so Finnick could carry Peter. So I think she wouldn't, I don't think she would kill Rue. I think she would let Rue win. Wyrus and Mags. Um, I'll go with Mags because she isn't as unstable as Wyrus and Wyrus doesn't actually fight at all in Catching Fire whereas Mags kind of um, would craft some sort of net or fish hook and kind of I feel like she would like loop the fish hook through the eye and into the brain. Is that what you would do with the fish hook? I guess she could like slit, stab. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I just sit here thinking about ways to kill people with fish hooks. That's perfectly normal. The winner is Max in that one for me. Foxface and Wyrus. Again, Wyrus is really unstable. 
Um, she doesn't fire much. Fox face doesn't fire much either, but she would obviously be in better shape than Waris mentally. And I think she would be able to overpower Waris and win that. Thresh and Katniss. Well... In the books, Thresh had prime opportunity to kill Katniss and it really would have taken nothing at all for him to get to her. But if she wasn't in such a vulnerable position, um, she could easily get him with the bow. But once Thresh is like up in your face, um, you're pretty screwed. So maybe I'll go with Thresh for that one. Fox face and thrash, thrash, because let's face it, Fox face is in a fighter and thrash is way too big for Fox face to take on. Clove and Marvel, I feel like I've already done this one, but maybe I haven't. I feel like the answer was Clove, like that's what I'm going to pick now. I feel like I've already done it. I think I've already done it. Okay, we've made it to the last one. The last pairing is Clove and Enabaria. I'm going to go with Enabaria based on the fact that she doesn't even need weapons to kill someone. Even when she didn't have the sharp teeth, she just still used her teeth to rip someone's esophagus out. Yeah, Enabaria. Um, because she is a crazy bitch. Like, even crazier than Clove, and I freaking love it. <coughs> We're done! Oh, I wonder how long that video went. I'm tired now. <sighs> how long did this go for? How long? My <clears throat> voice is failing me. I hope I got everyone's request in. If I didn't, <laughs> leave it below and then I'll do... I'm pretty sure this will be in two parts so I'll have to do a fifth one. Um, yeah. <laughs> But I hope I got the majority of them in. Um, if you have any different ideas about who would win out of the pairings I chose um, and then the winner out of those pairings, leave them below. Um, I'd love to read through that. Again, if you have any other requests for videos, leave them below. If you have any other questions, Hunger Games or non-Hunger Games related, feel free to leave them below because I will do another kind of cluster of requests video. Um, and you can pretty much ask me anything and I'll answer it in a different video. Kind of like a frequently asked questions. And that should be it for now. Before I go, I was going to do like a Let's Talk meta being cast as in a barrier. Um, and then Bruno as Brutus, Alan as Gloss. But I feel like they're going to do like update us on castings every day from now on. Um, so maybe I'll leave that to like the bulk of castings have been over and then I'll do a let's talk about those. And if you haven't already checked out my videos, Enabare, Brutus and Gloss have actually been officially cast. So head over there and get some career up in your face. And that is the end of that. I'll see you guys next time. Happy Hunger Games. <sighs> Chester! Puss! Whoa, can you hear the wind? It is so windy today, which is why my throat's sore. It's making the whole house creak. Shut up. Finding it really hard to talk. <clears throat> lick, lick, lick. Marvel and Gloss, I think it would be pretty. <clears throat> my freaking god or non hunger game non hunger games related um can't speak I'm so cool sitting in my room talking to a camera why do you guys watch me frack uh, windy. It's so, so windy. Ah, I'm gonna die. It's so windy. It's actually like extremely windy. <laughs> I'm being blown away. 
Oh god, get a lot, Jess. <laughs>